Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and in this video we're just going to be going over the recommended specs for Final Fantasy XV uh, on Windows, which is slated for an early 2018 release. Now, the footage in the background is just the trailer from Nvidia's Gamescom panel, so you don't really need to pay too much attention to that. Uh, the main reason I'm making this video is well, these specs that were actually uploaded to the official Final Fantasy 15, uh, sorry, the official Final Fantasy uh, YouTube channel. Unfortunately, that video has now been taken down, so I can't link to that down in the description. However, you know, I mean, a couple of quick Google searches and you'll find God knows how many, you know, screen grabs and things like that of these specs. So, right, now, first of all, I just want to say, you don't need to trust these specs at all. Uh, there's a few reasons for that, and the main one is these specs are actually identical to the specs of the PC that was running the trailer at Gamescon. Now, that has been confirmed a few times from a few different sources from people who were at the event. And a few other reasons why you don't really need to trust these specs is they are complete and utter overkill. So, let's just jump into it first, shall we? So, I'll stick a little screenshot on screen for you guys, so we're, you can sort of follow along. Now, okay, so, let's just uh, read this first. Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition is compatible with native 4K, that's 3840 by 2160 resolution, and HDR10. Graphical options can also be configured to support up to 8K. Thanks to Nvidia, you can experience the beautiful and carefully crafted world of EOS like never before. Enjoy the ultimate Final Fantasy XV experience in the highest resolution imaginable. Supports native 4K, maximum 8K resolution and HDR10. High resolution compatible display required for 4K and 8K. Windows 10 Creators Update compatible display required for HDR10. <clears throat> and now, onto the specs. So, if you want to play in 4K and 8K, then you are obviously going to need a monitor which supports that. Now, the GPU. A GeForce 1080 Ti is what they're recommending. Now, that is... You know, I mean, that's just overkill. A 1080 Ti is far, far, far too much. I mean, you could play 4K on a 1070, a regular 1080. Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest, if you have a good overclock on a 1060, you could probably do it on that quite easily as well. So, I mean, a 1080 Ti is ridiculous overkill. I mean, I'd... I'd say that's more for the 8K range than anything really, but I mean, you definitely don't need a 1080 Ti, even if you're going to be playing on 4K, you know what I mean, it's like a 1070, 1080, you know what I mean, that'll be enough for pretty much any resolution, bar maybe 8K. Now let's move on, so CPU, Intel i7 at 3.4GHz or a Ryzen 7 1700. Now, Again, uh, CPU, this is a bit of an overkill. Uh, I don't really know why it's recommended an i7, uh, because games typically don't really support multi-threading all that good, should I say? I mean, some games do support it, but just not very well. Nine times out of ten, uh, the most important thing in a game's performance on PC is the actual uh, processing speed. Now, 3.4 gigahertz, it sounds a little high, but, again, considering this is only the recommended and not the minimum, um, I'd say, you know I mean, an i5, uh, an i5 at 3 plus would be more than sufficient, I would honestly say. I really don't expect needing the full 3.4 gigahertz to run effectively, if you will. But, again, I mean, 3.4 uh, gigahertz isn't really that hard to achieve these days. I mean, if you're running a little lower than that, then it's really not too hard to put a simple overclock on the processor, whether it's an i5 or an i7. You know what I mean? You're not really going to need a high-end processor, because, I mean, I know I've seen some, uh, well, I know I've seen a few people saying that, oh, you know, you need a 6700 or a 7700, and it's like, no, not at all, not even close. I'd say anything that is above 3GHz and you're probably going to be 
more than safe and to be quite honest the minimum specs i'm expecting to be somewhere around maybe 2.4 or 2.6 gigahertz i'm not really expecting lower than 2.4 but again i'm not really expecting the minimum to be any higher than 2.6 either now onto ram so it's saying you need 16 gig of ram again i really don't expect you to need 16 gig I mean, I don't, I haven't really even ever seen a game need 16 gig of RAM. I mean, to be honest, I think the minimum will probably be something like 4 or 6, with the recommended probably actually coming down to maybe 8 or 10. I mean, a typical gaming PC will have 16 gigs of RAM, but for the game to require all 16 gig, no, it's highly unlikely that that's going to be the case. I mean, you know, I, I just simply don't see it happening. So, again, you know, I mean, maybe 8, I can I can see 8 being recommended, but 16, no, 16, 16 gigs, just way too much. Now, we'll just skip the uh, surround headphone, uh, and we'll move on to the storage space. So, it's recommended to have 170 gigabytes of storage. Now, this is a tricky one. I can't say if this will be true or not simply do for a few reasons so obviously the 4k textures are going to be quite a bit of uh, storage required but it's going to be nowhere near 170 gig now looking at the ps <coughs> excuse me looking at the uh, ps4 edition of the game and the install size for that uh, off the top of my head i want to say that was like 50 60 gig so that's an extra 110 gig the only possible way that you would need 170 gig is if they make all the audio uncompressed now that would drastically increase the storage space required i'm not sure if it takes up to 170 or not but it is possible so this is one of the things that a lot of people are going no it can't be true you know there's no way this will happen but then again i mean it is possible it's unlikely, but it is possible. But at the moment, uh, until Steam page updates, we really can't be sure. And obviously, with Square taking this video down, so you can't, so we can't actually see uh, the description again with these specs in. It's going to be really hard to tell what's going to happen in the future. Now, given that the game is slated for an early 2018 release, you know, there's obviously. A long time to go I mean hell we're only in August right now so that's another four months till 2018 even starts so I mean a lot of things can change in these four months and obviously you know I mean there's been interviews where they've stated you know it's like at the moment they're developing on the high end that's why the recommended specs are a little high so you know do expect the specs to be lowered in the future which you know is obviously going to happen when the minimum specs get released but again for all the people that are freaking out thinking that these recommended specs are you know what you have to have it's no not even close i mean honestly to be perfectly honest, the minimum specs, you could probably play this on a 980 GPU. You know, like an NVIDIA 980. That's how low I'm expecting the minimum specs to be. In terms of the CPU, again, that's quite tricky. Uh, obviously, we don't really know if it's just going to be single thread or if it's going to be multi-thread dependent. My guess is on single thread, which is going to put more emphasis on the speed rather than the generation. So, I mean, to be quite honest... I'm expecting anything above a 2.6 gigahertz should handle this more than easily enough. RAM is, again, 16 gig, it, it, that's not going to be required. That's almost guaranteed not to be required at this point. The HDD, the storage space really is a tricky one to get around. I mean, if they decide to go fully uncompressed on the audio, then it is possible that you will require roughly that amount. But if the audio isn't compressed, then I'm expecting anywhere between 70 and 100 gigs, to be honest. Simply going off the, well, simply going off the PS4 file size, and given how this one's going to be native 4K with all the textures and whatnot, then it is possible that it's going to be a little on the higher side, but again, nowhere near 170 gig. So, 
honestly, I wouldn't really worry too much about this, given that we don't know what the minimum specs are just yet. I'd say maybe around uh, December, January time is when we'll get the full uh, minimum and the updated recommended spec sheets because as I said at the very start of this video the recommended specs on this image and that were in the Final Fantasy 15 video description on Square's channel is actually just the specs of the system it was running on Nvidia's demo stage. So again, I don't even think these are the game's real recommended specs, but I just figured I'd throw this out there for you guys. I want to know what your guys' opinions are on whether or not you think these specs are overkill, whether or not you think they're actually going to be closer to the mark, and just your overall opinion. But that's going to be where I end this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then hit that like button, and remember to leave a comment down below. I do try my best to reply to everyone who comments, but as always, guys, thanks for watching.